this is going to be a primer to selling ornaments on Amazon. Now, I almost said Christmas ornaments, but I was doing some research before I hit record, and I saw that ornaments are selling year-round. If you guys have been selling ornaments, let me know in the comments, but I bet you already knew that. For instance, Halloween ornaments are in demand right now. Now, how am I coming to these conclusions? Well, I'm going to show you that in this video, but at a high level, what we're doing is we're basically data mining Amazon for what people are typing into the search bar and what people are actually ordering, okay? We're trying to figure out what they want to buy, then go look at the existing bestsellers and hopefully find a lane for us to go sell in that niche, you know what I mean? Similar products that meet and exceed the customer expectations. So let's get to it. To conduct our research for this video, we're going to be using my go-to Amazon research tool. That is Seller Sprite. This allows us to basically look at Amazon's entire catalog. Now, they don't have every product from Amazon's entire catalog indexed, but they have millions and millions, tens of millions, all right? So it's a great place to start. You can follow along using the link in the description if you would like to. Uh, we're going to look at a couple different ways to research these ornaments, okay? Let me zoom in. Um, and specifically, guys, if you haven't sold ornaments before, you can use Printful, for instance. They've got a bunch of different ornaments. They've got wooden ornaments, acrylic ornaments, metal ornaments, right? They've got different ways you can sell. And then there's different shapes, by the way, uh, when you click into these actual like product pages. For instance, the metal ornament you might have saw. I talked about this earlier this week, but they have the pet paw. They have the scallop. They have the tag. They have the rectangle. All right, there's various shapes that you can sell. So a lot of good options. Now, I wanted to jump over here and just show you how I would actually start if I'm doing this on my own without the camera recording me. I'm gonna go to Seller Sprite. I'm gonna go to the product research function. The default settings are United States, select month. I leave it at 30 days. So we're looking at the most recent 30 days of data. Skip past the presets. It's mainly for like FBA. If you don't know what you wanna sell, you would come here, but you can use this as print on demand sellers as well. I'm gonna to go to include keywords. I'm gonna type in, uh, why don't we just say, should we say custom ornament or Christmas ornament? Let's just say Christmas ornament. And I'm going to switch this to phrase match, okay? And then I'm going to hit search. Let's see what Christmas ornaments are selling. Now, as POD sellers, we're not going to be able to sell all of them. Like, all these weird custom shape ones, uh, that's more like the FBA lane than the print-on-demand lane. FBA is where you, you know, pre-buy the products, ship them into Amazon's warehouses, and then when you get an order, it will be fulfilled by Amazon or FBA for short. Something like this, though, with the dog that says Merry Christmas... Again, I think with ornaments, like if you're offering custom ones, that's going to be the best way to go about it. But uh, it looks like that's probably a custom dog ornament right there. It says Merry Christmas with the photo of the dog. Uh, funny Bigfoot one there. A glass ornament. I know that some print on demand production partners have those as well. This is Christian gifts for women. So it looks like different Bible verses. And this is a nice print on demand one that's not offering customization. So perhaps that's a niche there. You'd want to look further into that, like Christian Christmas ornaments. Maybe that's something that we could actually uh, look into if you guys want to. Why don't we open up a separate tab and uh, do that as well, kind of in a parallel tab. So I'm just going to say include keywords, Christian Christmas ornament, phrase match, and we'll come back to this tab. Um, let's look at a few other ones, though. Uh, 50 years as Mr. and Mrs. So, A, new year. You know what that means. New birthdays, new milestones for your relationships, new anything date-related, new life milestone celebrations. Oh, we moved in together. Oh, we got married. Oh, I turned 50. Oh, it's our 50th anniversary, right? Why not a Christmas ornament? Love that idea. Glass, by the way, the glass ornaments seem to be popular if you guys are looking and seeing what I'm seeing. Oh, here's another one, another kind of religious uh, aspect Christmas ornament. Uh, you are loved, you are enough, you are worthy, you are beautiful, you are irreplaceable. Text on an ornament with a little um, graphic element wrapped around. I, I wish you lived next door. Ah, friendship Christmas ornament there. So Christmas ornaments between friends, love that as an idea. We're going to have to scroll past quite a few because I don't think there's really a single keyword associated with filtering out these non-print-on-demand ornaments. Here's one, cardinals appear when angels are near. Now, I saw the keyword cardinal was actually pretty prevalent, pretty prominent among best-selling ornaments, okay? So we're gonna come back to how I came to that conclusion in just a second, but remember the word cardinals for ornament niches. Uh, and then here, one more behind me. It says, and then there were three. Coming soon, 2024. Of course, we would make the 2025 version, and it is 
expecting baby ornament 2024. We would obviously say expecting baby ornament 2025 in terms of like what keywords we're optimizing our listing around if we want to sell in that niche. Uh, by the way, I mean, these are pretty generic things that, you know, you can apply to ornaments. You could apply them to other things as well. Probably worth writing these down and saving them because you can come back to this well throughout all of next year when you're listing new products. You know what I mean? It's like, oh, anniversary. Oh, birthday. Oh, new child going to be born. You know what I mean? Like these are things you've heard me talk about before and probably seen before, right? Uh, let's jump to the Christian Christmas ornaments. And by the way, Seller Sprite made this so easy. All we did, open a new tab product research, include keywords. I typed in Christian Christmas ornament. I'm gonna actually copy that to my clipboard. We'll use that in the, in the future. So the first one we just saw, Christian gifts for women, got the various verses around um, this one. What does it say? God says you are, and then I guess that's similar to the one we just looked at, another glass ornament as well. Uh, here's another version of it with color. It says you are, it's got the Christmas tree and then the, the verses. Nice positive message messaging too. Uh, there's bracelets actually that snuck their way in. Okay, so they're not exactly ornaments, but these are indexed on Amazon when you search because you know how Amazon will show you related products. Anyways, as a potential niche, I bet you there are, like Seller Sprite does not have a carbon copy of Amazon's entire product database. Nobody does except Amazon. So uh, there could definitely be more to this. I would definitely recommend writing that down and going deeper in your um, exploration. Uh, so I wanted to show you, Seller Sprite has a keyword mining feature all right if you go to tools i mean they have a bunch of different tools okay um you can see all of them right here behind me right uh and i've actually talked about a lot of them over time on my channel so thank you to the subscribers if you already knew that but anyways i just typed in christmas ornament that's all i did so we kept it very high level i could have typed in christian christmas ornaments religious christmas ornaments cardinals whatever but i want to show you how you can start extremely high level and dig down deeper into this okay so right here, before we even look at the products, or it's not really products, I mean, they do show products, but they show you certain phrases, essentially ordered from highest value to lower value. But before we even look at those, word frequency, all right, they basically show us a word cloud with the prevalence of certain words. What do you know? The first two are Christmas and ornaments, right? But this is indicative, this is good for research. Tree is the third most prevalent word. Ornament, okay, ornament versus ornaments. Uh, decorations, Grinch, decor, balls, white, Navidad. Uh, let's skip. We'll skip some of these smaller words. Uh, nightmare. So maybe nightmare before Christmas, I'm assuming. Uh, snowflake, personalized. What else? Decoration, hanging, candy, vintage nativity, outdoor, Xmas, uh, decoration, Adornos, so there's some Spanish words. I think that's a Spanish word, right? Adornos. Uh, wood, elf, let's see. Indoor, skele skellington, skellington, that's interesting. What's a skellington? Okay, it is the Nightmare Before Christmas. Skellington <laughs> is the name of the main character. Um, this is where I thought I found the word cardinal as well. Yeah, there it is. 21 instances of the word cardinal. So worth just mentioning that right? Like I wouldn't have expected that from the outside looking in because I'm not an exact subject matter expert here, but the word cardinal, and then we saw a cardinal in an ornament earlier, right? And it had that religious connotation. And then what do you know? A couple words later, Jesus is also listed here. Uh, we've got Harry Potter's also listed, but you don't want to do IP infringement, uh, Santa, snowman, etc. You guys get the gist, right? I just wanted to show you, this could be really useful. And it's just a quick at a glance way of almost like a preparing yourself for, or just read it. Honestly, if this is Etsy, those could be your tags. If it's Amazon, there there is a search terms field when you edit your listings that essentially allow your listing to get indexed on um, by those search terms that you provide on the back end, but they don't show up on the front end of your listing. It's a great place, honestly, to put Spanish translation words or you know relevant words that you don't want in your title or in your bullets, okay? Anyways, let's scroll down here. Here are the most valuable phrases associated with our seed phrase, Christmas ornament. So some of these are going to be obvious, right? I might actually skip a couple pages ahead to see if we can get anything that we didn't expect. <laughs> There's some funny ornaments. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's like a hanging nut sack. <laughs> oh man. I didn't expect to see that. All right. Christmas ornament, Christmas ornaments, Christmas tree ornament, uh, Christmas ornaments, clearance ornaments for Christmas tree, Adorno, Navidad, uh, Adornos Navideños, 
All right, testing my Spanish here. I did take three years in high school, but um, did not do well. Christmas ball ornaments, okay, ind indicative of the shape. Um, Christmas decoration ornaments. So these are pretty like generic, I would say tree ornaments, giant Christmas ornaments, Christmas ornament sets, Christmas balls, Christmas decorations. Like these are all things that you would wanna optimize around on Etsy, on Amazon, etc. Because when you see the, them here in Seller Sprite, that means people are typing into the search bar. Now, is this serving us up niches on a platter? No, I would go to the product research for that. Okay, we're getting the niches here under the product research. And by the way, there's multiple pages, many, many pages. All right, uh, but I wanted to show you here, uh, here, that these are like high level phrases, Xmas ornaments, ornaments for Christmas tree, et cetera, that we, we might want to integrate if they're relevant, right? Don't keyword stuff if it's not relevant into your listings, okay? And again, there's many pages here as well. Um, I also wanted to kind of show you that you actually get a suggested PPC bid before I forget. There's many columns here, right? The main one that I care about is really like the monthly searches, if anything, but also the relevancy, I guess. And again, you have to determine what's most relevant to your product too. You can't just say, oh, it was in Seller Sprite, so I'm gonna copy paste it. Uh, make sure that the product you sell actually adheres to the expectation that you're setting. But this column right here that I'm kind of blocking says PPC bid, okay? So pay per click bid. If we wanna advertise on Amazon, it's giving us the suggested bids for these terms, okay? Now, what I actually want to recommend you potentially consider doing, if you're like me and you're willing to kind of sell anything, if, if it seems like the opportunity is there, well, one easy way to break through and do something that other people aren't doing, a lot of people aren't doing, which is advertising in this case, you can actually go up here and you can export the keywords, okay? They have an export button right here. And with that, you can open up Excel you can add a filter to the headings, okay? Just in one click, go to data and then click filter. And then you can go over here to, uh, where to go? I think you have to scroll the scroll bar to the right a little bit, there it is. PPC bid, click the arrow on that heading and just click A to Z. And now what we did is we've got the lowest PPC bids sorted to the top and there might be opportunity over here, okay? So it's rearranged all of these results. Look at the actual keywords, the phrases. I know it says keyword, I think of it as phrases because they're pretty much all phrases. If it's a single keyword, it's it's hard to really assign a lot of value there, but if it's a phrase, that's that, that to me is where the value is, okay? And it's saying suggested bid is like 18 to 21 cents. I feel like that's the floor. So you might even be able to get away with bidding less than that as well, right? And the cheaper the, the clicks, the better, right? Again, it's just being willing to put in a little bit more work and outwork your competition in this case, in this instant, you know, theoretically, right? Uh, so you might be able to find opportunity, like right here, first Christmas baby, or baby first Christmas ornaments, right? They may seem like kind of random, but again, people are like, guys, the number of customers Amazon gets and the traffic, the search volume that they get in the fourth quarter is unbelievable. So of course there's gonna be people typing in wood Christmas decorations, 20 cent suggested bid. Baby first Christmas ornaments, 20 cent suggested bid. First Christmas baby, 20 cent suggested bid. Come in at half that and see if it works. If you're not getting any impressions, impressions is a column you can enable in PPC, then increase your bid. But if you can get clicks for 20 cents, you can get visibility and clicks and sales. You start to rank organically and carving out even more of the pie for yourself, right? You see the game here? And rather than guessing what niche to enter and having no clue what the PPC requirements are gonna be, you can essentially reverse engineer the outcome that you want, the most desirable outcome, cheap clicks for cheap sales to get organic rank. You can reverse engineer it using Seller Sprite, okay? <laughs> All right, one last exercise before I wrap the video. I typed in funny Christmas ornament. That's another thing. I just wanna show you guys like really how I would conduct this research myself. I often will type in like funny and then the product type. Or you could honestly do funny ornament as well. You don't have to say Christmas. Like I said, there was Halloween ornaments trending. There was like pet memorial ornaments. I mean, there was a lot of different types of ornaments. Um, but by typing in funny, it feels like we're getting a little bit more print on demand ornaments. So this says chance made us neighbors hearts made us friends so again the friend niche a job made us co-workers but our sarcasm and inappropriate conversations made us friends do not sleep on selling anything christmas related or fourth quarter related 
to office holiday parties and you know the white elephant parties i've made a lot of money in the past uh, optimizing products for those keywords our first christmas as mr and miss all right 2024 i'm gonna have to make one of those for uh, marielle and i since it is our first together <laughs> uh next one chaos coordinator that's another one that like dude when i was selling kdp journals back in 2019 months after i started kdp that was definitely one of the books i sold all the time um bestie here's to another year of us laughing at our own jokes dealing with stupid people and keeping each other sane all right so now we're getting into more of the print on demand ornaments and there was no guarantee that this was going to work essentially what i did i'll come up here to the top i typed in funny christmas ornament again phrase match and then i excluded g dash wrenches for grinch ornaments because there were people selling those Grinch ornaments, but they were trying to game the keyword system by putting a dash after the G. Um, anyways, I do not recommend doing that, but I just wanted to show you guys essentially how I got to finally, you know, more of these print on demand, more of the accessible uh, Christmas ornaments. So I hope you found this video helpful. Uh, Seller Sprite is really expediting the research process. You know, you don't have to do research. You could just hopefully guess, right? You could guess that you know, you know, what search terms to optimize around, what niches are in high demand. You could do that, but time is money. I'd much rather reverse engineer my desirable outcome. Like in seller sprite, I didn't even talk about it in this video, but you can look at how, how many monthly sales a product is making, like what revenue a product is making. When I say a product, like it could be ornaments, but it could be niches, sub niches within there. Like you can, you have all of those, um, data points tracked in seller sprite. So you could literally filter anything out. That's not selling at least like a thousand bucks a month. Like you can do that. Okay. So I just wanted to show you guys that uh, really powerful stuff. It's of course linked in the description. Hope you found this video helpful. Please hit that like button and subscribe on your way out if you did. And I will see you soon with another new video.